Number 52. What is the molar mass of a gas if 0.0494 grams of the gas occupies a volume of 0.100 liters at a temperature of 26 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 307 torr? Okay, so remember with gas questions, we list out everything that we got and then we can come to a decision on what formula we're going to use. So in this case, they're asking for the molar mass. Molar mass, I like to say as mm. So mm, molar mass, is question mark, right? Now, the next number that they tell me is an actual mass, right? They tell me that it's 0 0.0494 grams. So I have a mass, m, of 0 0.0494 grams. And it occupies a volume. So that's V, right? So I have a volume, 0 0.100 liters. They tell me I have a temperature of 26 degrees Celsius. And they give me a pressure of 307 torr. Okay. Now from here, I don't have any sets of variables. So the combined gas law is out. And I see that I only have one volume, one temperature, or one pressure. So the decision is between PV equals NRT or PMM equals DRT. Since they're specifically looking for the molar mass, it's just easier to use the derivation, which is this formula, PMM equals DRT. Now, just remember, the R value locks in all of the units. This is 0 0.0821. Your teacher or professor might want you to memorize it as the 06 at the end, but in my eyes, a 6 rounds the 0 up to the 1. Less numbers, the better. <laughs> There's a lot of things to memorize in chemistry, right? Let's, let's not make it harder than it is. So these units are always going to be the same. ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. So that's why the pressure has to be an ATM. Oh boy, they gave it to us in Tor. So I'm just going to pause a minute and we're going to just quickly convert Tor into ATM. That's just a conversion. Use our dimensional analysis. We have 307 Tor. I don't want that anymore. I'm going to times that by a ratio, right? Throw the Tor, literally throw it down at the bottom to cancel out, and we want ATM up at the top. I gave you the list of big four pressure units throughout the whole uh, chapter, and they're all equal to each other. So just pick the two that we're using here. One ATM always equals 760 Tor. So one ATM equals 760 Tor. The word Tor cancels out. We now have just ATM. So let's see what we get. 307 divided by 760, and I'm going to give this a few decimals, you know, places after the decimal because this is not the final answer, so I try not to round. So maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do that. 0 0.4039, and that's ATM. Okay, now we have ATM. Check. We're solving for the molar mass, so that's what the whole question was, so that's good. So that means we have to have D, we always will have R, and the temperature, right? Well, the temperature is easy. Remember, the temperature has to be in Kelvin, but they gave it to us in Celsius. Oh, boy. So I got to go from uh, Celsius to Kelvin, but that's easy. That's just plus 273. So 26 plus 273 is 299. Okay, and now we have the temperature... But now the density, hmm, they didn't tell us any density units, right? They didn't say the density was anything. But remember, D is density. And for this equation, it's always going to be grams divided by liter, right? The molar mass, the unit of molar mass is gram per mole. So that's why you have to use the gram value because they have to be the same to cancel out. And the leader is in the R value. And oh, they gave me a gram and they gave me a leader. They gave me a mass and a volume. 
So the first thing I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to calculate what that density is. Maybe I'll do lowercase d. So density equals the mass divided by the volume. And there are the correct units, gram and liter. So we're good to go. 0 0.0494 divided by 0 0.100. So the density equals, and maybe I'll just put the units here, gram and liter, just so that you guys see. Once again, you don't have to round here uh, because this is not the right, uh, this is not the answer. So you can extend it out, but it's going to come out nicely to 0 0.494 grams per liter. And now we have the density. Now we can find the molar mass. So let's go. P. 0 0.4039 times x equals, right, x molar mass, you could put mm, doesn't really matter, equals the density, we just found that out, of 0 0.494. The r value is 0 0.0821, and then the temp in Kelvin was 299. Wasn't that, wasn't that a commercial for something? I, I don't know where they were like 299. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.4039 on both sides to get X by itself. Beautiful. And now I'm going to have my answer. X equals the molar mass. So let's see. 0.494 times 0 0.0821 times 299 <laughs> divided by 0 0.4039. And it looks like three sig figs. So we'll do 30.0. So 30.0, and remember the units for molar mass is gram per mole. And that's the molar mass of this gas. And there you go. So... Hopefully this helps. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And let's keep let's keep learning. All right? Chem's not hard. It's just just algebra basically and word problems. But I got you guys. All right? I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.